au caucus. Est-ce que M. Rata peut rester au caucus, selon vous? Ce n'est pas mon choix. C est, c est, euh, évidemment, c'est euh, pour moi, M. Rota, et c'est quelqu'un euh, très honorable. C'est quelqu'un tellement gentil. Euh, on a été élu en même temps en 2004. Et, mais c'est évident qu'il fait une, 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 une erreur majeure et totalement inacceptable. Et euh, il a accepté les responsabilités pour ça. Est-ce que le Premier well, ministre doit s'excuser maintenant? Beaucoup de gens ont dit que c'était un embarrassment pour le Canada internationalement. Est-ce que ça ne requiert pas le Canada de formellement reconnaître ça et de s'excuser comme un pays pour ce qui s'est passé? Well, first of all, let's take a step back. I don't know, and I'm sure all of you standing in front of me would feel the same, that we would give our life rather than see the darkness uh, that was embo embodied by the Nazis reclaim this world. All of us are steadfast united against tyranny and oppression. And mistakes get made in this world. How we treat people who make mistakes is important. This was a huge mistake, an absolutely massive mistake that caused this country enormous embarrassment and set back the cause of democracy. There's no question of that. But I believe it was earnestly made. I don't believe that Mr. Rhoda set out with intention in his heart to hurt anybody. Uh, yes, he should have been more diligent. Yes, the choices he made were poor. And he suffered a grave consequence for that. But sometimes if we focus all of our energy and attention on somebody's innocent and earnestly made mistakes, then we forget in the world there is grave evil. And right now, pushing into Ukraine is grave evil that threatens not Ukraine, but threatens democracy everywhere. And if we get lost in the thrust and parry of our debate here about earnestly made mistakes that must face serious consequences, then we can also lose the bigger thread of the bigger threat and the greater evils that face us. Mr. 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 consequence in your own words does that not require a government response, an official apology within the House of Commons? on behalf of the government for the mistake that Speaker Rhoda made. So, Will you make that case? Well, I, I, again, uh, I understand, as all of us, I stood and applauded. I stood in my place and applauded. And for that, I am deeply sorry, personally. I feel betrayed myself that I was put into a situation and I stood and applauded something that was contrary to my values. But I, it seems to me that we're all extremely zealous uh, about continuing to pursue this. When what we need to be zealous about, and, and I can see you shaking your head no, and I would ask you, because I'm sure you and I are aligned in the cause of democracy. I'm sure you and I are aligned in standing against autocracy. And if we're going to battle against the, uh, and we're going to spend all of our time and energy fighting on somebody who has stepped down, who is an honorable gentleman. The question was not is, about the speaker. The question is about an apology. Right. Will the government apologize? So as you're Does, yelling at me, as I'm you're. I'm not yelling, I'm just trying to. Uh, as you're yelling at as you're yelling at me, okay, about what about what you feel the government should or shouldn't do, I'm trying to say to you that I believe the focus of this government, the focus of all parliamentarians, should be standard united. Because what is Putin doing with this? He's lying. He's manipulating. He's trying to turn an earnest mistake into something else. Put that, put it behind us, though, and so you can I, move on to what you want to talk about. I think that the the the, the, the situation uh, was totally unacceptable. Uh, and that it, we, uh, I'm not sure what, what, what folks are after here. I mean, in, in, in the question. Oh, oh, let me, let me be very clear. I, I said it. In, so let me, let me, let me say, let me say this, because I can only speak for me. I am the person that's in front of you right now. I deeply apologize personally. I stood and I applauded somebody who was completely contrary to my values. That was, made me feel disgusting. Okay. I felt awful and terrible after that. I apologize to anybody who suffered. I apologize to the, the Jewish community. I apologize to anybody who fought in, in, uh, against the darkness that that is. I can say to them that the core of my values is that I stand full square with them and I would lay down my life in that cause. So I personally apologize and I am deeply sorry. And I, if every parliamentarian I talked to who stood and applauded that day, I know feels that way. So why is that? Okay. Okay. Thanks,
dire à s'excuser? Bon, euh, le président de la Chambre a déjà fait ses excuses. C'était sa décision d'inviter cet individu. C'était sa décision de le reconnaître dans la Chambre. Et il a fait l'honorable chose et il a déquipitionné de sa poste. Est-ce que les excuses doivent aller plus loin, pardon? Bon, euh, comme j'ai dit dans la Chambre plusieurs fois, c'était quelque chose qui était tellement douloureux pour nous tous comme parlementaires et pour tous les Canadiens. Je suis... Je, le mot, c'est pas « contente », mais je suis euh, reconnaissante que le président de la Chambre a décidé de faire ses excuses et a décommissionné parce que c'était la seule chose vraiment à faire pour reconnaître la responsabilité de ses actions. Well, the speaker needed to resign because this was his decision and the actions that he took that hurt all of us as parliamentarians, but indeed all Canadians. And so he's taken that responsibility. He has stepped down, which he absolutely needed to do because he made a big mistake that has really hurt all of us. <laughs> Last week, and I think Speaker Rhoda has taken responsibility for the invitation, for the acknowledging and recognizing the person in the gallery, and he made a, an honorable decision. To but does Canada need to actually apologize uh, on an international uh, level for what happened, think, or, or think specifically think Speaker, to Ukraine? Speaker Rhoda has taken the action that he felt was necessary. Should we reopen the Deschamps report? We, should we reopen the Deschamps report, given what has happened? In terms of the investigation about individuals who are involved with uh, criminality, war crimes, etc., I think what's important to understand is that there's a process in place in Canada, including at my department. We have a war crimes unit that investigates and where uh, enough evidence has been amassed has the ability to lay charges and actually prosecute war criminals that are within Canada. That's important. I think you should also take guidance from the fact, and Canadians should take guidance from the fact that We've also taken a leadership role in terms of investigating war crimes that are contemporary, whether that's with the Rohingya and the incidents in, in Myanmar, whether what's, that's what's going on with uh, the Russian-Ukrainian conflict. I've had direct conversations with the Ukrainian Prosecutor General about alleged uh, Russian war crimes that are occurring. Are you saying this is too old business? Sure. Are you we saying this is too old Holocaust business? Holocaust history. Does this show that we don't know enough about the Holocaust and that we need to know exactly how many Nazis have been welcomed into Canada? I think. I think there's always room to learn about instances of gross human rights violations around the planet that have occurred over time. Obviously, we've invested money in terms of Holocaust awareness. We have a special envoy on anti-Semitism. Those are important initiatives. Is there more to learn? There will always be more. Do you support reopening the Deschamps report? What I will always support is ensuring that people who have perpetrated war crimes or crimes against humanity or crimes of genocide are brought to justice. Yeah, but are you saying this is old business? Is that Demonstrate our support through actions, not not merely through words. Uh, and my sense is that uh, we'll we'll maintain uh, a strong relationship uh, with Ukraine and its war uh, and the invasion it's facing uh, the, the, as a result of this war of aggression. From what, what was the meeting, meeting, meeting here last night on the Hill? There, it seems there was a cabinet or caucus meeting here last night. On the Hill. Uh, there was a caucus meeting, but look, as you guys will appreciate, uh, once I go into that room, I don't talk about what we discuss inside that room. Wait, what's going on with Burnaby and Surrey? Uh, sorry, I was just uh, uh, providing an answer. My, my view is that it's really important that we uh, understand who's responsible uh, for different actions. In the present instance, uh, every indication that I have is that there was a private invitation sent by the Speaker uh, that any considerations about the appropriateness of their uh, their attendance was uh, a decision of the, the Speaker's office. Uh, the appropriate response, in my uh, point, from my point of view, uh, was an apology and, and uh, a resignation from Mr. Rhoda. I, I should say, Mr. Rhoda is an individual I have had me to have respect for. Uh, it's regrettable what took place. The consequences are, are very serious. Uh, but my sense is the appropriate response was an apology and resignation, which has taken place. Vous êtes vous tous coordonnés pour poser la même question. C'est la question du jour, monsieur.
Ah oui, ben, ben, mais la réponse du jour, ça va être que ce sont des questions qui appartiennent au caucus et à M. Rota. Vous en êtes parti, vous, est-ce que vous voulez le voir encore dans votre équipe? Ben, comme vous en doutez, c'est une question qui relève du caucus. Vous n'êtes malheureusement pas encore invité au caucus. Il y a quelques mails seulement qui nous séparent, mais je dois m'y rendre. Et... Voyez-vous comme prochain président? Est-ce qu'il y, est qu y a des gens que vous préférez? Bon, on a, on a, vous allez voir bientôt, il va y avoir d'excellents candidats qui vont se déclarer comme candidats à la présidence de la Chambre des communes. Ce sera la, la Chambre de décider. Mais on a de très, très bons candidats. Merci, merci. Merci, merci. Merci, merci. Merci, merci. Merci, merci. Merci, merci. Merci, Where was it? I was bowling with my team, uh, team building for my new, my new political team. So I uh, can't speak for that at all. Should, the, should the Prime Minister apologize? Apologize for what? For there being a Nazi in the House of Commons. Well, look, I think this is. Um, Canada has a really dark history with, uh, with, uh, with, with, with Nazis in Canada. Uh, there was a point in our history where it was easier to get in as a Nazi than it was as a Jewish person. I think that's history I think we have to reconcile. The cabinet took a decision in, uh, in May of 1950 to let in uh, members of the Glisson Division. I'm sure you're all well aware of the Duchenne report. I would encourage you to, to read it again. Uh, it is part of that dark history that we have to, to reckon with. Um, and this was just another disgraceful expression of it. Uh, as you know, Anthony was a good man and decent man, uh, was solely responsible for inviting that uh, person and, um, and he took responsibility for it by resigning. But I didn't attend it, so I wouldn't, couldn't tell you. And even if I did attend it, I wouldn't tell you because it's private and I think we have to uh, decide things amongst Liberals. Uh, but shouldn't the Prime Minister apologize on behalf of Canada? Shouldn't there be some sort of apology? That's, sort of That's a question for the Prime Minister. Est-ce que M. Rata, vous pensez qu'il peut rester, vous personnellement, vous pensez qu'il peut rester membre du caucus libéral? Caucus, fondamentalement, c'est des votants. Euh, je pense qu'il s'est très bien débrouillé dans ses fonctions de, de, de député. Euh, c'est un ami à moi, je le respecte beaucoup. Je pense qu'il a pris une. C'est une personne qui a pris une très mauvaise décision. Euh, je ne pense pas que ça devrait être. Euh, ça devrait être entièrement entaché sa carrière. Euh, mais malheureusement, là, ça va être euh, les choses dont les gens vont se souvenir. Mais souvenons-nous quand même qu'Anthony Rota, c'est une personne très décente, très respectée par le caucus. Alors, moi, personnellement, je ne pense pas qu'il devrait démissionner du caucus en tant que There's been talk there, a demand to declassify some of these documents surrounding yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know the details of it, but would, I don't know what you guys, it's would you guys so uh, do that? Was that something you're considering? Look, I, I did not expect at the beginning of the week to be reading the Duchenne report. I've now read it twice. There are appendices that I understand name names of people. Uh, I understand that there are many groups, including uh, leading Jewish advocacy groups, that are demanding for the release of those names. Uh, it is something that, uh, that we could possibly examine. Again, not being privy to what is in those documents. I don't have a particular uh, view that I've fully formed on it yet. But again, um, in, in a country like Canada that has not only a difficult history with, with Nazis in Canada, but also uh, one of the most important diaspora of Jewish people, including uh, some of the largest proportions of Holocaust survivors, uh, uh, impunity is absolutely not an option. Given that history, <laughs> That on this uh, particular matter, it's uh, very serious, and uh, uh, the speaker has taken responsibility, and he's done the honorable thing, and I'm glad that he's done. Formally apologize for what happened in the house last week. Uh, Anthony Rota, Anthony Rota, Anthony Rota. That's a good question. I think it's a discussion we should have in Congress. What do you think? I think it was extremely unfortunate, unacceptable. I think the speaker did what the speaker felt was the best thing to do for Parliament. I think we need to work hard to rebuild some credibility, trust. Um, it's just an unfortunate incident. How do we rebuild our credibility? By working very hard, uh, by demonstrating that Canada's democracy is alive and well, and resilient, by being the role model that we are globally. Would you recommend that Canada apologize? I'd recommend that we have a discussion about this in caucus. Seriez-vous intéressé à devenir président, vous? Président de, de, de la Chambre? Je ne sais pas, on verra. Pensez-vous qu'il doit s'excuser, le Premier ministre? C'est un... Parce qu'il a une responsabilité personnelle, à votre avis. Euh, mais c'est une très bonne question. Je pense que c'est une question dont on va traiter ce matin. Vous avez le temps d'avoir? Vous avez le temps d'avoir? Vous avez le temps d'avoir? Vous avez le temps d'avoir?
Is there a uh, committee or uh, executive uh, on this? Uh, I think the Board of Internal Economy uh, may want to look at this. That's the committee. We may want to do it between health leaders. I think we have to come together. If we make this any more further partisan, it's just not good for our country, and it's not good for countries that are watching this country. I spend a lot of my life building democracies all over the world. I spent two years in the former USSR. I'm on the way to Angola in October. I take delegations all over the world. Canada is held up as a model for democracy. We have to continue to, to, to put that forward in a, in a serious way, in a thoughtful way. And that's, I think, where we, where, we, where we ought to get to. Vous ouvrez l'enquête des chaînes. Qu'est-ce que vous pensez, ça, c'est cette commission d'enquête qu'il y a eu dans les années 80? Est-ce que c'est une bonne idée? Seriez-vous intéressé à présider la Chambre des communes? Euh, c'est un poste euh, très important, mais non. J'accorde beaucoup de valeur à ma liberté de parole, puis euh, je... Le, le je premier ministre doit-il s'excuser pour ce qui s'est passé dans le Je vais laisser le soin au premier ministre de décider ce qui est bon pour, euh, pour, pour lui, mais euh, je crois que déjà c'est une bonne chose que M. Rota se soit retiré. Est-ce est que M. Rota peut revenir au, au caucus, selon vous? Euh, il y a des questions que je vais gêner à voir, c'est pas à moi de décider ça unilatéralement. No, thank you. Mr. Oliphant, do you think the Prime Minister should apologize to Canadians for what happened in the House on Friday, that he has an obligation to apologize personally? No. The, P uh, the uh, Speaker made a horrendous mistake. Uh, it was his decision. That gallery is his gallery, and he makes the decisions about who's going to be in. He made a decision to invite a member from his constituency. It was the wrong person at the wrong time. Should so, Canada formally apologize, though, like on behalf of, of the country? Um, it wasn't. I don't think it's the country. I think that the speaker made his mistake and uh, he's paid a huge price for it. Can you tell us who you'd like to see as speaker? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> what qualities are you looking for? A speaker that's impartial as usual and a speaker that serves at the pleasure of the House. <laughs> Ah ben ça, ce sont des décisions. M. Rata a bien servi, a fait une erreur. Puis c'est pas, je veux pas dénigrer M. Rata. M. Rata a fait une erreur grave et la décision qui a été prise hier, c'était pas à propos de lui, c'était à propos de la chaise du président. C'est un président concret. C'est important quand une erreur comme ça a été commis, que ça soit reconnu pour les futurs présidents. Puis je veux pas dénigrer M. Rata. M. Rata reste un homme intègre. Puis je respecte M. Rata. Pardon me? Do you think the Prime Minister should apologize for Hunka being in the House of Commons? Look, I think the the, the Speaker um, has come very clean with what, what happened and apologized, and I know this is something that was um, the choice of the Speaker. So um, I think he's held himself accountable. And uh, I think that's important. Well, what about the Prime Minister? This is, you know, on behalf of Canada. Doesn't mean he has to take personal responsibility, but do you think he should right. apologize in some way? So the question of Prime Minister. Uh, I think that's up to the, the Prime Minister On to do. Um, I know it's Not something that is very hurtful to, to see. Apologize. I think we need to, to constantly stand against anti Semitism in all of its forms and discrimination in all of its, its forms and, uh, and take a leadership. Well, well, like what happened in the last next caucus meeting? Pardon me? What happened in the last next caucus meeting? What happens in caucus is it stays in caucus in the form. Maybe just was it about the speaker election? Was it about this? Uh, I'm, I can't reveal what we talk about in these walls. It's it's probably. Oh, but I don't know. I don't know who will present. No, 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 no. I'm already on the committee of old combatants that I present. So, I'm. Are you ready? S'il le veut, pourquoi pas. Oui, oui c'est son choix, évidemment. Okay. C'est pas quelque chose que vous l'excluriez. Ah non, personnellement, non, 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 pas du tout. Aucune. <rire> Merci. Merci, Je vous en prie. Merci. Um, I mean, I think certainly we have to take responsibility for the fact that there was a Nazi in the chamber. Um, so. Um, I think that the Speaker has properly res taken responsibility and stepped down, but it doesn't mean that there's no responsibility elsewhere as well. We all have responsibility. It's not a question of, uh, of Canada excusing itself. It's a question of Canada res accepting the fact that we had Nazi in our chamber. It's an embarrassment for all of us, and we all need to accept that that as being a shame on all of us. Is that what you're going to say? 
Céline a souhaité changer. Mais je, je crois, je, je crois qu'à la fin du jour, on va changer le président, mais on va aussi tous reconnaître que c'est complètement inacceptable. Il faut, il faut trouver une manière que les procédures sont faites, qu'il y a une manière qu'avant quelqu'un ait, ait reconnu dans la Chambre, quand il y a un président de notre pays-là, qu'on voit clairement, que tout le monde voit clairement euh, qui ce personne est, qu'on évite un problème comme ça. Il faut changer les procédures. Est-ce que le premier ministre doit s'excuser? Que... Est-ce que le premier ministre doit s'excuser? Monsieur le premier ministre doit s'excuser. Moi, je demande à personne de s'excuser. Je crois que on, tous, comme membres des chambres, ont une responsabilité pour assurer que ça n'arrive aucune, dans, dans, pas dans l'avenir. Mr. Hosser, are you going to make the case in caucus that the Prime Minister should issue a formal no. apology on I, 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 What I am going to say is that we need to fix the procedures to make sure something like this can never happen again because it's a huge embarrassment for Canada. It is totally unacceptable that a Nazi, somebody with that kind of past, is recognized in the chamber. We need to change the procedures to make sure that nobody can be recognized during a state yes, visit without sorry, vetting them properly. I got to go in. Thanks. Should the Prime Minister uh, apologize? Prime Minister apologize for, for, uh, for what happened inside, for there being a Nazi in the chamber. Does there need to be a formal apology from the government of Canada other than the speakers? The speaker has uh, taken responsibility, has done the honorable thing, and he's resigned. Should he stay in caucus? Interested in being speaker? Are you interested in being speaker? Am I interested in yes. being speaker? No. <laughs> Do you think the Prime Minister should apologize for the whole UNCA controversy? I leave that to him. What quality? Do you think he should? Do you think he has a I think he has, hasn't he? Yes, sir. The no, president, the president. Officially on behalf of Canada, should Canada issue a formal apology for this formal uh, I leave that to our leadership to make that decision. Minister! Ben, écoutez, on sait que les Canadiens et les gens dans la circonscription en particulier trouvent la vie très difficile ces temps-ci. C'est le coût de la vie, le coût du logement, le coût de la vie, le coût de la nourriture. Mais le message de M. Poilievre résonne plus que le vôtre, manifestement. Qu'est-ce que vous avez, vous avez de plus à offrir? Mais moi, ce que j'entends des gens de la circonscription, c'est effectivement qu'il faut travailler encore plus fort pour les aider à joindre les deux bouts. C'est la préoccupation la première et c'est ce qu'on continue à faire. On en a fait déjà beaucoup. Dans ma circonscription, 40 des enfants à tous les mois qui sortent de la pauvreté avec l'allocation canadienne pour les enfants. On investit beaucoup dans le logement abordable. Des dizaines de milliers de gens dans la région de Québec qui ont un logement abordable, un logement social et communautaire qu'ils n'auraient pas eu autrement. Alors, beaucoup de choses qui ont été faites, mais encore beaucoup de choses à faire. Sur, euh, sur tout ce qui se passe avec, euh, euh, avec les, 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 les... Enfin, est-ce que M. le Premier ministre devrait s'excuser euh, pour euh, ce qui s'est passé en chambre vendredi? Ben, ce qui s'est passé dans les derniers jours aussi a été terrible. Ça a eu un, un impact extrêmement dévastateur sur beaucoup de gens, les communautés juives en particulier. Il y en a une petite communauté juive dans ma circonscription. Euh, le peuple ukrainien, évidemment, le, euh, souffre beaucoup de ce qui se passe avec la désinformation que le président Poutine fait avec cet événement très, très regrettable. Et on va continuer à, à mais dire... Est-ce que, est que le, M. le Premier ministre devrait s'excuser personnellement au nom, de, au, nom du, au nom du Canada, au nom de la Chambre? Bien, ce qui est le plus important, c'est que le président de la Chambre s'est excusé rapidement. Malheureusement, sa décision a pris un certain temps à, à venir, lorsqu'il a été le temps de, de, de quitter ses fonctions. Et maintenant, bien, on, va, on va de l'avant. On sait que c'est... Est-ce que M. Rota a encore la confiance du caucus? Vous sortez de nous venir au caucus, est-ce que M. Rota a encore la confiance? M. Rota est un député libéral, comme les autres députés libéraux. Et euh, il a maintenant le besoin de continuer à faire son chemin là, sur le, la base de, de ce qu'il a déjà exprimé. Mais je pense qu'il le dit et qu'il va continuer à dire qu'il est profondément désolé de, de, de l'erreur et du tort qu'il a pu faire au cours des derniers jours. Well, he has resigned from uh, being a speaker. That was a problem as a speaker. He made a terrible mistake. He admitted to that. Uh, fortunately, he resigned yesterday. That was the right thing for him to do. And now he will be a normal MP in the House of Commons. Can he be in the, in the, in the Liberal Caucus? Can he return to the Liberal Caucus after, well, that's after for, this kind that's of mistake? for caucus to decide. And it's most importantly for Mr. Uh, Mr. Rota to decide as well. But uh, based on what he has said yesterday, uh, we can now move onwards uh, for the, with the election of the new speaker. Thank you. Merci. I'm sorry, are you thinking about running for speaker? Yes, I am. I'm going to let my name stand, and uh, along with uh, some really other great candidates in Parliament. What do you think needs to change? Well, I think uh, we should... I think... How do I put this? The importance of the rights, and the rules and traditions of the House allow 
to encourage frank, passionate debates, but within a framework of, of, of making sure that we could talk to each other. Because each one of the 338 members of Parliament have a right to be in the House to express themselves and not to be intimidated and to making sure that they can freely express themselves. Mr. Trudeau. You know, clean energy and labor. You know, what, is it, what, what are you going to do in this new role um, as, as, on this cabinet? Um, exactly what we've been doing, I guess, with, with you know, more of a focus. How do, we, how do we square the circle? It's not an easy one. Absolutely. Uh, how, do we, how do we make sure that make workers across this country feel included mm -hmm. in, a, in a massive energy transition you know, that's happening not just here but around the world? Mm -hmm. And the world's looking at us. They want us, they want us to get this right. Um, and you know, I'm bombarded every day, my own fault because I'm consumed with it, with just these sorts of struggles happening all around the world. Mm -hmm. And I am happy about that because I'm happy people are engaged. I'm happy governments and companies and unions are finally taking this seriously. It's going to be messy, lowering emissions um, and, and keeping our economy not just afloat but prospering. It's going to be a messy old business. I've been on the front lines of it for years. Um, rarely does it make any one fashion or, or constituency happy. But we're doing it. It's real now. You know, it's real. So I'm delighted for the focus. And I, I, I guess, you know, I was going to say, you know, are you going to take more of a focal role in terms of being more advocate for the clean energy sector in Atlantic Canada? But you're kind of already doing that role. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> I guess you're kind of They're so down sick of me in Argentia where, you know, we're looking at monopole marshalling. You know, we're looking at, we're looking at basically the foundations for wind turbines that are, that are going to be stored there and then brought down across the whole eastern seaboard. So, like, it's global. Mm -hmm. um, and, and uh, you know, my, while Newfoundland is far away from most of the rest of Canada, it's close to Europe, it's close to Eastern Seaboard of the United States. But what's happening in Newfoundland and Labrador right now is real. It has been, it has been within my professional life. Mm -hmm. I can't believe it. Um, uh, and it's because people there came on board. Uh, but that ain't easy. That ain't easy. This is a big, big, long haul for this country. Mm -hmm. But we're getting there. Awesome. Thanks so much. Thanks. Okay.